The Royal Air Force has backed a British firm to develop a new aircraft that can be converted from basic trainer to aggressive fighter by swapping engines and wings. Suffolk-based Aerialis was given £200,000 by the RAF to develop its modular two-seater aircraft that will come in one of three variants depending on requirements. The variants have the same fuselage, but by fitting different engines and wings it can be transformed, allowing the RAF to operate with fewer aircraft in its fleet. A base version of the aircraft will be used as a trainer for combat exercises, but the modular design means it can be adapted as circumstances change. Aerialis expects the change between versions to happen within a normal 24-48 hour maintenance cycle, and to have the first version ready in about three years. Tristan Crawford, CEO of Aerialis, said every component used in the making of the new module aircraft would come from British companies. We can put different wings on and different engines on so that it becomes a basic trainer for example, so it flies more slowly and it's more easy to fly, like the flying equivalent of a family car, the aircraft designer told The Times. The revolutionary design allows for a number of future configurations beyond the three core ideas currently under development. Current proposals would see three types of trainer from a single fuselage, basic Mach 0.65, advanced at Mach 0.85 and an advanced trainer at Mach 0.95. Future versions of the aircraft could include a fuel tanker, basically a flying petrol station that could be used to refuel swarms of small drones. The firm say they could also create a version with much longer wings that could be used for surveillance missions, or an uncrewed version used as an attack drone. The last time Britain developed its own crewed military aircraft fully in Britain was 1974 with the Hawk. Everything else that has come afterwards has had to rely on some kind of overseas partnership to make it happen, Crawford told The Times. The £200,000 grant from the RAF is for three years development and was granted by the Rapid Capabilities Office, designed to fund novel ideas. The flexible design could allow RAF training teams to have fewer aircraft available, changing use depending on the level of ability. No specific details have been released about the operation or power of the aircraft or any of its components as it is still at the early design stage. It is unclear how long it would take for crew to switch between different versions or what the cost would be in doing so. The firm suggests it could save a military customer up to 30% of the current cost of operating traditional mixed fleets, based on the use of modular aircraft in commercial aviation. and RAF spokesperson said they have no plans to replace the Hawk training craft with this new modular design. The modular system will be designed to streamline the design, development and in-service support processes for military aircraft across multiple training and frontline roles, according to an Aerialis spokesperson. This will help to reduce the complexity and costs of acquisition and sustainment when compared with more traditional approaches to fleet management. Aerialis is focused on reinventing how future military aircraft are developed and operated, and we're delighted to help set the pace and vision for future RAF systems with the Rapid Capabilities Office RCO, said Crawford. As well as helping to enable rapid, digitally driven development and the certification of flexible, open architecture aircraft systems, this supports UK prosperity and the government goal to champion British innovation. We are creating a significant export and global relationship development opportunity for the UK.
Air Marshal Richard Knighton, Deputy Chief of Defense Staff, described the design as an innovative approach he hasn't seen in the combat sector. Its ingenious and innovative use of modularity, together with applying lessons learned from the commercial sector offers the potential to break the capability cost curve that has dogged military fast jet programs for many generations, he said. The design philosophy could be disruptive, providing a means to improve international competitiveness and shift away from expensive bespoke platforms. Aerialis offers an extremely disruptive and innovative approach to design, modeling and certification processes in military aerospace, commented Air Commodore Jez Holmes, the head of the RAF's Rapid Capabilities Office. We are pleased to be working with Aerialis to explore the modular air system approach to future aircraft certification, design and development and, in particular, to understand the exploitation potential of Pyramid, our new open mission system architecture.